The 513 migrants, hot, tired, and dehydrated, were rounded up and processed for detention shortly after the two trucks smuggling them across the border tried to blow past a security checkpoint. Authorities were alerted to the human cargo by this amazingly detailed x-ray caught at the border showing people sitting, standing, jammed into the trucks, 240 in one truck, 273 in the other, packed so tightly up to seven people per square yard they could barely move or breathe, with temperatures topping 100 degrees. More alarming, they came from at least eight different countries, 410 from Guatemala, others as far away as India, Nepal, and China, a smuggling pipeline run by gangs. We're talking about something that's far more systematic than people realize. They learned how to do this by trying to move drugs and other contraband. After the Golden Venture, carrying 286 Chinese nationals, ran aground off New York 18 years ago, authorities have cracked down on human smuggling by sea, even by train. The smugglers' preferred mode of transportation now? Trucks. These migrants say they paid $7,000 each for a truck ride to the U.S. border, though the price they end up paying the gangs is far higher. Through all sorts of activities that we really don't like, indentured servitude, uh, prostitution. Mexican authorities say they have intercepted almost 800 migrants entering the country illegally just this month. Border observers say that means many times that number made it through. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.